In this video, I'm gonna show you two copywriting secrets that will pretty much instantly make you a better writer. These secrets are things that will literally cost you nothing, they'll improve your copy, and they're actually super easy to do. So why aren't more experts teaching this? That's a topic for another video. But right now, I'm gonna get right into it for you. So number one is eliminate words. Sounds pretty intense, right? Eliminate words. But honestly, it really isn't that intense at all. This little secret is one that I think a lot of copywriters can benefit from, especially based on all the copy I get in my inbox from copywriters all over the world trying to sell me stuff. Or even all the copywriters out there who have subscribed to the, the really popular gurus out there who are all pumping out the same cliche-y, super wordy, just not great copy. I see a lot of this lately. Eliminate words. Eliminate unnecessary words. Eliminate fancy unnecessary words. Eliminate fancy unnecessary filler words. Do you kind of see what I mean? And don't just take my word for it. This is actually a lesson I learned early on in my writing journey when I first read the book On Writing by Stephen King. When he talks about revising a manuscript as an example, he really hammers home the point that you, sh you should be aiming to chop it down, cut out as much as possible. Basically, any word, sentence, or phrase that doesn't illuminate or add value to the subject or thing you're talking about should be eliminated. Less is definitely more. Don't be pretentious using big, fancy, smart sounding words because it won't make you sound like a better writer. It'll make you sound pretentious or inexperienced. Neither is good. So if this is the first time you're hearing this type of a tip, go grab a piece of copy you've recently written. Something you wrote. Try to see if you can cut it down by 10%. After you've done that, try to see if you can cut it down by 20%. Does it still retain the meaning? Does it still get the message across that you're trying to get across? If it does, congratulations. This first copywriting secret has already helped you improve your writing. It's a super easy tip. You should write it down on a sticky note and stick it to your monitor. Use less words. Make this a part of your writing process and you're sure to level up your abilities in no time. Oh, and before I go on to give you the second copywriting secret, if you're curious about the book On Writing by Stephen King and wanna pick up a copy for yourself, which I honestly highly recommend for anyone interested in writing, not just copywriting, I put a link down in the description of this video. All right, so copywriting secret number two is to write the way that you speak. This is another copywriting secret that's actually super easy to do, but I still get a good laugh despite how easy it is to write the way you speak. A lot of the times when I'm reading a lot of random copy I find on the internet. Like who sent the memo out that you need to write copy like a stuffy, old, boring university professor? Or more commonly, like someone selling snake oil. Why have these types of voices become so common in the world of copywriting? I honestly don't have a clue. Think of it like this. Would anyone you know in your personal life enjoy having a conversation with you about something you're trying to sell if they felt that you didn't at all believe in the thing you were trying to sell them? Or how about this? Do you think you would enjoy speaking to someone about their life if the way they described their life was about as exciting as an instruction manual written for a toaster oven? Of course not. You probably like talking to people who seem genuine in the way that they communicate with you. People who are trustworthy. People who get excited about stuff, who have passions, fears, goals, dreams that they're trying to accomplish in their life. People who are human. So when you're writing your copy, assuming that you are a human who also has friends, family, and has interacted with at least another person at some point during the duration of your life, write your copy in a similar voice that you would normally speak to other people with. In a way that you feel would help build trust. In a way that doesn't feel as blatant and in your face as something like, let's say, a late night infomercial that doesn't read as boring as the instruction manual that comes with your you know, home appliances. And also that doesn't read like you're just picking random fancy words out of the dictionary and cramming it into whatever you're writing. Write the way that you speak. If you wanna see an example of how I do this personally, compare the way that I speak in these videos, in my YouTube videos, with how I speak in my monthly newsletter. My goal with both is that regardless of what I'm talking about, 
I communicate as closely as possible to the way that I speak in my everyday life. It's helped me create better content and better connect with my audience for sure. And yeah, writing the way you speak is just a good thing to do, especially if you're just getting started as a copywriter. So link to my newsletter down below, check it out, compare for yourself. Does the way that I speak in these, these videos sound kind of similar to the way that I'm writing in that newsletter? If you can see the comparisons there, you're on the right track and you can start doing that with your own writing as well. So yeah, these are two super easy copywriting tips that honestly anyone can incorporate into their writing. The crazy thing is, is that for most copywriters, especially new copywriters, these two little secrets will probably definitely help you improve the quality of your writing, resulting in you making more money, but nobody really talks about them. So don't be like those people. Don't use fancy words, don't speak like a robot, write the way you speak and eliminate unnecessary words. Write these two tips down, put them on a sticky note, stick them on your monitor and thank me later. Happy writing everyone.